Welcome to Every Way Woman. We are here with Sunita and we are doing some samosas. Absolutely. I have no idea what that is. Show me. <laughs> well, they're an Indian pastry and they can be filled with either a potato filling, a ground beef filling. Basically, you can experiment once you get it going. Sounds like some empanadas. And That's it's good. great for <laughs> parties because, um, you know, you can make small ones that are, you know, a good size yeah. appetizer. And then they're also bigger size. So if you really want people to fill up but you don't want to provide a whole big meal, this is a great appetizer okay. to have. And I'm going to do a little secret for you, a little shortcut. I'm using... Um, pre-made dough from store-bought oh. dough oh. because sometimes that's the intimidating part of making samosa so I don't want to make the dough because so. you have to yes. yeah so okay just make it easy <laughs> it's, it's really simple so I'm gonna start out we um, have three potatoes that I already boiled and do you gonna, want me to I would okay. like you to start mashing those up Whoa. Um, I use uh, white gold but you can also use russet <laughs> potatoes <laughs> okay um, is there a specific way to do this? No, you, you're okay. doing great. You just mash them up, okay. and it's uh, we're gonna put the filling in with it. Okay. Um, I already put together some garlic, um, about one teaspoon of garlic that you're gonna put in there. Now in India, we always use a lot of garlic and ginger. So let's do it. All. Just put all of that in, <laughs> and you know I know ginger isn't something that's common, uh, you commonly used here, but it is so good for you. It's really As great ginger? for this is that ginger looks root. Like a mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> something like it. Okay. So all you have to do is just cut off the amount you want, you just peel it, and then you can um, chop it up. So it's really something that we always use together with ginger and garlic. Um, there's only a few times that you might just use one over the other. Is it spicy? How does it taste? Or is um, it like a potato? You know, that no, it's not a potato. It's a, it's a root. Um, oh. So it's kind of like, you know, the complement to garlic, in okay. fact. Um, so you just chop this up. You're going to want to mince this really finely. Mm. Oh, like little french fries. <laughs> exactly. And then you just chop it up a little bit more because you don't want it to have too, you know, like a, a, too much of the texture. You just want the flavor of it. So just chop this up really well. Is this something you might want to wear like some gloves or is it that spicy? You know, or? it's kind of like ginger. Do you cook a lot with ginger? No, I've never used it. That's what I'm you asking. You don't cook with ginger? You know, for me, I don't even know how to cook without jar garlic or ginger. I had a friend who oh. was allergic to them and I, I was like, I wouldn't ever cook or eat. I don't know. It It'd be a great like diet, that. I guess. The stuff they massage you with. <laughs> <laughs> so you just put this in about a teaspoon okay. and you mix out all of that together. And then we're just going to mix in the spices okay. too. We're going to start with a little cumin, uh, half the a whole teaspoon. Thing? Yep, put in a half a teaspoon of cumin. Measured these out for you. Half a teaspoon of mustard seeds. Half a teaspoon of onion seeds. Onion put seeds. all these in. Now, I don't know about you, Anna. Do you like your stuff spicy? Yes. Oh, God. Come on, you're I'm my Latina. girl. You're my girl. I'm spicy. Um, <laughs> so you can use a, a teaspoon of red chilies or however many, much you all. need. And then I love my Serrano chilies. Oh, Do you use your yeah. Serranos? Absolutely. Do I? Um, so just mince those up really well and put those in there. And then just, and just mix it, it all okay. together really well. Okay. And, and I'm then, seeing this. What is this? That is going to be for a little later. Oh, I'll tell you all about let's it. Let's some salsa. Um, and then I'm going to put in a, a teaspoon of salt for you. Because okay. oh, that's not a teaspoon. That's, that's way too big. I, you know, I like it salty, but that probably would have been a little too salty. <laughs> okay. It so mm -hmm. was it. Okay, put that so in. So then just, okay. And then I'm go. also going to cut up a little bit of lemon. Put that in there. And here you go. You can just squeeze that right in. Do you know? Here, Never let me help you with that. that. Never done <laughs> this that. This is my I... little impromptu one. That came with like a <laughs> lemon squeezer, like a professional Look, one. Look, I'm the Latina <laughs> one that does them. <laughs> those are great, aren't they? I love those. Okay, so we'll just okay. mix those together. <laughs> and then... We are just going to go ahead and put them right here. You can just start spooning it into here. Is just, there a specific teaspoon? No, yeah, you don't want to have too much because otherwise it's going to overflow. Okay. And then all we do is we fold them over. Like this will probably be a little too much. Um, so oh. I'm going to take that out. Okay. And then you just fold these over like a triangle. Oh. And then just squeeze this the edges. Like pastries, you can do that one. But this is actually made for dinner? Um, it's an appetizer. So, you know, um, I was mentioning if you, like, needed to feed people a heavy appetizer, mm -hmm. but you couldn't do a full dinner, okay. this would be a great <laughs> thing to have. 
So you just uh, pinch the edges and then you can make it nice and neat by uh, doing I do a know fork. that trick. Yeah, a little Martha Stewart <laughs> trick, huh? Pie crust trick. <laughs> And there you go. So that's what it is. You put this in the oven for about 15 minutes or until they come out golden brown. And I actually <gasps> put these in the oven and this is what they look like. So I would love for you to try one. Um, and you know, this is uh, a little cilantro so this chutney. Is, so you do it with this? That is so good. Nice and tasty, I huh? love it. Wakes you up. <laughs> Who would know it would be that easy to find Sanita's recipe? everywaywoman.com